I don't know why it doesn't want to do it. Let's cancel out of that. Uh, all right. Uh, then if I take this guy, uh, I can uh, say modify analytic, and I can change the size of that hole. However, something else I can do, let me just delete that guy. If I uh, pick this, I can do what's called a pattern recognition. So I'm going to recognize that as a cut. And now I'm going to use this pattern recognition tool. And notice it picked up all four of these holes, and it recognized those as a pattern. And it put in the model tree, a pattern recognition feature, to allow me to uh, make a change. So now I'm going to go ahead and pick this up, modify analytic the three, but now one of the options is to propagate that change to the rest of the members in the pattern. So I can say uh, propagate it in regards to this pattern recognition that I just did, hit the check mark, and notice all four of those holes changed at the same time. Okay. I could do the same thing with these, uh, say, uh, these guys up here, recognize that as a cut, okay, do a pattern recognition, Notice it's uh, grabbing these three up here and the three down here as uh, identical uh, patterns. And now again, if I'd go ahead here, modify analytic, uh, let's make it a little bit smaller, okay? Again, it just changed that one. But as soon as I come here under options and say propagate it relative to this guy, now it made all six of those a little bit smaller. So uh, we have that. Uh, ability to make changes and have those changes replicated to uh, uh, other uh, areas of the park. Okay. Uh, let's look at maybe another part. So I'll go into working directory and let's go into that. So here's this part here. I'm going to go into uh, flexible modeling and we're going to uh, adjust the size of this uh, cylindrical surface here. So to do that, I'll come in here and uh, hold the Alt key down so I can pick that surface directly. And now under the flexible modeling, I'm going to use the offset grouping here. And I'll just uh, offset it a little bit. Okay. So notice when I offset it, it's just going to offset uh, that single uh, surface a certain amount. But on the other hand, uh, there's an icon here. Uh, prior to offsetting it, these uh, two adjacent surfaces were tangent. If I click this guy, it's going to actually maintain uh, the tangency. So by clicking on that, notice it basically uh, adjusted these adjacent surfaces and kept the uh, tangency conditions. Now notice that it, uh, it keeps these edges uh, down here fixed under the uh, conditions. I can turn off the default uh, uh, conditions, which is uh, fix the edges, and now it's, it's uh, moving these guys out also. Okay. Now, if I wanted to, I could then uh, uh, create a new condition. So maybe I'll just say add new, uh, and uh, let's see, pick this edge, and this guy instead of fixed, and pick this one. Let's see, which one am I supposed to pick? Oh, the lower edge. Oh, let's, let's not do that one. Do that condition. Let's do let's do that condition. So here, notice that this one's fixed, but this one is offset. So uh, this one it just brought up, and this one it's uh, adjusting there. So there's uh, you know, so we can move surfaces and have it uh, uh, keep the uh, Tangency condition. Uh, uh, let's look at some other. Uh, oh, not that one. Let's look at another example uh, dealing with uh, rounds and chamfers. So if I open up this, uh, let's go. Uh, all right. So here's a part. Let me go into flexible modeling. Okay. If I uh, pick this surface and do a move on it, notice it's going to adjust and make that chamfer larger, okay? So it's just dragging that flat surface up and it's just extending this chamfered surface uh, 
you know, as needed. So if I want to have it uh, keep that champ to the same size, I can uh, do a uh, recognition on it to recognize that as a chamfer. Okay. So underneath the uh, rounds and chamfers, I'm going to recognize hit on recognize chamfer and just pick this surface here. So notice it picked that up. It's recognizing both of these as a chamfer. I say okay. Now when I go ahead and do a move on this one using the dragger and drag it up, notice because I've recognized it as a chamfer, it's dragging that, in essence, dragging that chamfer along with it. Actually what it's doing, it's dragging the flat surface and then reapplying the chamfer. Okay, uh, let's turn this uh, model around on the back. Like this. Okay. Now this guy, uh, if I do a move on this and drag it up, notice it's actually going to drag the round along with it. Cancel out of it. However, if I just want to move just this one surface here, I'm going to come here and say, um, don't recognize this as a round. Now when I pick this and do a move on it, No, it's just moving that inside one, not the round. Now, normally you'd probably uh, have it still recognize the round, so it would move the round, but here's the option where you can tell it not to. All right. Uh, any questions uh, so far? Nothing yet, Bruce. Okay. If you have any questions, All right. uh, just type them on in. Okay. All right. So uh, maybe uh, let's look at maybe patterning a little bit. So in here, we're going to go into flex modeling pattern creation. So here we have a little uh, boss area here that's sticking out, and we want to replicate that around the inside of the part. So to do that, again, I'm just going to come in here, go into flexible modeling. Pick uh, this surface uh, right here and pick the bosses. So notice it uh, picked up all these green surfaces here. And now I'm going to uh, do a flexible pattern on it and we're going to do an axis pattern. So when I do that, I'll use uh, this icon to uh, pattern it. Okay. It's going to be an axis pattern, so I'll change it and pick the center axis to rotate it about. And I want eight of them. And we're going to use the uh, uh, angle to fill. Okay. So notice when I uh, complete that, it patterned that shape. It extended it to the part and then added the uh, chamfers at the base of it. Okay. Now there's some options on that. If I do an edit definition on it, under the uh, options tab here, oh, I'm sorry, under the uh, attachment tab, I can tell it not to create those rounds and chamfers, in which case it just patterns the extrusion, the cylindrical surface, but it doesn't do anything with the chamfer that was at the base of it. Okay. Alternately, I could also maybe do an edit definition. Uh, instead of, I could deselect attach the pattern members. And when I do that, it just replicates those surfaces as just surface geometry it does not actually attach them to the solid part. So uh, we have the ability to kind of uh, pattern things and then replicate them and have some options on the pattern. Okay. Uh, all right, we can also do things like, uh, if this was a, a symmetric part, we can recognize symmetry in the part in the same way that uh, I recognize pattern. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's look at another example of that. Uh, so again here, if I go ahead and uh, pick this guy here, I could recognize as a boss, it picks up everything, okay? And now again, if I wanna do a pattern recognition, notice I picked all that, it picked all those four as a pattern, complete it. And now I can do things to uh, that guy. So I might, uh, uh, again, I might pick the hole, modify analytic, 
change it to uh, something reasonable. Say, change. And now under the options, again, I can say propagate that change based on this pattern. So now it changed all those holes. Okay. If I come up with, uh, let's see here, I could come up and uh, just grab this guy. I could then do an offset, to offset a little bit. Okay. Uh, I'll tell it to uh, maintain tangency. And likewise, now I can propagate that along with the rest of the pattern recognition. And now all of them are adjusted uh, somewhat. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, and there. I guess uh, that's probably pretty much, that kind of in a, in a nutshell is what you can do. Okay. So I can come up here, let's just do, I'll uh, just do an edit definition on there, turn on the attachment, help to create the rounds, and do that. So here's some real simple uh, things that we can do. Uh, again, the shape selection, uh, you can pick up bosses, which would just uh, recognize boss, but not pick up, notice if I uh, pick this and recognize it as a boss, it doesn't pick up the hole. So if I want to pick it up as a hole, I'd have to pick it as a bosses. Likewise, the cuts would recognize both of them as a cut. If there are additional cuts coming after it, uh, this next plural cuts would pick up additional things that would uh, interfere or extend into that set of surfaces. Okay. And then we can recognize rounds and chamfers. Uh, really, Rob, that's pretty much. Uh... All right. <laughs>